Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we're going to be using our 800 air pack, and we are gonna see exactly what you can burn on 800 amps. So how many 7018 rods does it take to burn on, 100, on 800 amps? Can we burn, I don't know, you know, like half inch solid bar, angle iron, whatever, all kinds of different welding experiments, you could say, not very non-conventional. So we're gonna have a little bit of fun with this thing and see what it's capable of doing. Okay, so we're gonna start 800 amps. So it's on 70, 18, 800 amps. So we're gonna leave it on 800 amps and we're gonna keep adding rods until it looks like a decent weld. How many is that gonna be? Five or 10? We'll find out. So we're gonna start with one. I'm not expecting a lot from one, but we'll see what happens. And 70, 18 rod, 800 amps. What happens? twice as far each time.
five rods, 800 amps. Seven rods, 800 amps. Seven worked. We're gonna jump to ten. Here's ten eighth inch 718 rods, 800 amps.
this is not rated for 800 amps. So there's definitely a power loss going through here. So we're gonna let that one cool down or switch it out to another one. All right, so I'm dying to chip the slag off this to see what it looks like. So we're gonna clean the slag up right now before we continue. So we have one rod to 14 rod. So we're just gonna kinda look pretty good right there. I think 12. I think 12 is a good number. Yeah. Alright, now we're going to try 17 rods. Because that's what Jacob thinks. <laughs> Max. Alright, 17. 8th inch, 7018, 800 amps. test because we are running out of rods. This is about this, this experiment is burning up about 10, 11 pounds of rod. So 24 A fitch 718 rods, 800 amps.
Would you say 24 burned better than 17? It kind of seemed like it, but... There's a lot of, a lot of splatter in these, these ones compared to those. These are actually surprisingly really clean. All right. This one is 17 rods, this one was 24 rods, and you can definitely tell this one, these, these two are a lot colder than say those two there. And uh, yeah, we don't have to look at that one. Uh, we, won't, we won't talk about this one. We got all the steel that dripped over the edge. When it hit the, you could see that was the puddle and all that just fell over that edge. All right, let's find something else to melt with the hinder dams. All right, so we have a variety of electrodes here we're gonna try. We have some uh, one inch by eighth inch, one inch by three sixteenths. I think that's one and a quarter by three sixteenths or quarter. We've got some angle iron, eighth inch, and we have some stainless tubing. So we're gonna see how all of these react to 800 amps. We'll start with the uh, spin one, spinner one first. See what it does. I think that's exactly what it was. Okay, let's try to this a little
it's horrible. All right, we're gonna switch to Angular and see what this does. It's probably gonna be similar. So we're going to try running 7525 down the center of the stainless tube to see if it makes a difference from what it was doing, like the arc jumping around or whatever. This conveniently threads loosely right inside this. Enough to where it'll get gas. We're going to see how this works. <laughs> city in it well I mean it's not great but it doesn't <laughs> like no no gas and with gas okay three-quarter inch bottom roll solid round bar 800 inch violent. Thank <laughs> you. 
half inch rebar, brazing flux, 800 amps. Something happened. <laughs> I don't know what's happening there, but something happened. Careful, that might pop out of the gear. Right? So we're done with our testing for today. Um, so to go over what we did, we have we start from the beginning. We have, and this is every single thing was ran on 800 amps, big blue, 800 air pack, eighth inch 7018. You have one rod, two rods, three, four, five, six, seven, ten, twelve. 14, 17, and 24 rods. So then we tried some flat bar here, a little bit thicker flat bar here. Obviously it's gonna be full of porosity because there's no slag on it or anything shielding gas of any type. So we decided to try that. So here we have a stainless tube about one inch, 120 wall. So we tried it here with no shielding gas. And then we ran 70, 20, 75, 25 through the center of it at 60 CFH. And that is what happened. So it had some type of protection, but not enough because it's still crystallized. We won't talk about this area. <laughs> this is three quarter inch solid right here. I already know that's hot. And then this one is half inch rebar with no gas. And then we on this one, we tried some soldering flux to put on the rebar. And it actually, it definitely made a difference. I felt like there wasn't enough on there when it was melting, but we might have to experiment with that one again a little bit more. So that is our experimentation for today. I think these three are the best. And those are those actually look like decent welds. Um, what do you want me to burn up next on 800 amps? Let's hear it. What, what do you want to see? Because this just fascinates me. I don't know why. So tell, leave a comment. Tell me what you want me to burn up 800 amps. And uh, yeah. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next one.